Hey, this is Blind Fox, and welcome back to my ration review. Please support the channel, please subscribe, and please go donate on Patreon.com. So today's ration I got from Russian Combat Rations on eBay. Go and check him out. So this is... So this is the dinner part of the uh, Ukrainian Defense Forces. 24-hour ration. So each meal comes in a little sealed bag with the name of the meal on it. This one got cut off a, off a bit, so their quality control with the bags aren't great. So I've got this open, so let's see what we're going to do for dinner. Welcome at dinner. Or supper, depending what you call the meal. And we've got a kasha. This looks very much the same as the one we had for breakfast. This is quite a large meal. This is about 325 grams. So it's a nice large meal. We've got three sugars, which we are not going to use. We've got two honeys. We've got a tea. The same one as we had at lunch as well. And we've got the four the packs of biscuits, which seems a bit crushed. Then we've got a napkin, a wet, wet nap, which we tasted out at lunch, quite nice. And we don't really have a spoon. But since everybody in the world have a foreign MRE spork, we will use this. Or everybody should have one. So we're going to use our foreign MRE spork. Because this one, it's broken. So this is going to be our uh, dinner. Now I like the foreign MRE spoon since it's in a little bag. The only thing I don't really like about it is the little serrated edge when you eat with the fork part. It's sort of annoying. But it's a nice titanium spoon, so... But we'll see. Let's check out our kasha. This is the only Russian, Ukrainian, whatever word I can read. Is this one. Only because somebody pointed it out to me once. Can't remember who did pointed it out on his ration, but well, yeah. And as like all these rations, quite fatty. Quite difficult if this is cold to eat this. You can see. Then. Bland, very fatty tasting, and it's quite hot when it's cold. So I will heat this up in the microwave, and I will be back. Okay, I'm finished with the. Here we go. This is just all the fat that I removed from the kasha. You can see there. This I literally could just pick up. So there is a lot of fat in this. I put this aside, and that also I think is the reason why. You do get such a lot of biscuits with every meal or crackers, just to absorb all of the fat. So this biscuit was the most beaten up of all of them. We've got honey. Honey, honey, honey. So let's check out how their honey tastes. Let's see if we can open a little hole. This doesn't really feel there's some hard, uh, I think, pieces in here. I think this is both honey. So there's some hard pieces in here, I think some sense sugared. So let's open this. Mm. This is honey. And it has sand sugared. Nice and sweet. So you can see there, a bit sandy, sand sugared. But it doesn't matter, it doesn't really change the taste. Nice sweet honey. Tastes a bit sweeter as the honey I'm used to. But the um, biscuits are so dry and so non-tasting. It does really um, dampen the sweetness a bit of the honey. So let's check out our kasha. And it is heated up. Much more softer than it was. This does taste a bit different from the other kasha we had at breakfast. It's almost larger grain, so I'm not sure if it was the same grain or not, but it ta the taste is very similar. 
still a bit fatty, although I removed some fat. Not very flavorful, but it's a lot of food and it's hot. So let's taste a bit of the biscuit with this. this the, these grains are very, very soft. And if you want some texture, really put your biscuits in here with the meal. So let's check out the tea. A bit weak, but it's an, not a bad tea. Not as flavorful as some of the teas I've tasted. But it's a nice middle of the road tea. So let's try our honey again. A real sweet honey, not that particular honey taste that I'm used to, but it's very, very sweet. I don't know if there's extra sugars added to the honey, but it's a very sweet honey. It's not bad, it's quite nice with the biscuits. And that brings us to the end of our rather short and not very stuff to eat dinner. So the car show, I think, might be, be in a different car show. It is a bit more soft than the, small, or the, the, the breakfast one. Still not a very, very, very bland. Um, the tea is a nice tea. The honey was nice and the biscuits was just the same. So this was our supper. Or, or as, as I call it, supper or dinner. It depends which one you want, want to use for your evening meal. So interesting ration this. Not a large variety of food, but there is a lot of food. So thanks for watching. And I, I got this from um, Russian Combat Rations on eBay. So go and check his stuff out. He's got some other rations as well. So thanks for watching. Please support the channel. Please subscribe. Please go to it on patreon.com and see you at my next ration review.